how do you get SI joint injuries? You get SI joint injuries from trauma, from lateral falls, you fall on your hip and then you compress your SI joint. Um, you can get it from car accidents. You can get it from previous lumbar fusions as well. All of those things can create arthritis in the joint. So, and there's certain signs that we do and look at it uh, to get an idea, is it the SI joint? Then what we have to do is make sure that it's the joint. So the first thing we do is we have our uh, injection docs inject the joint under fluoroscopy um, and fluoro to make sure when you're injecting the joint you get pain relief. Once you have that diagnosis, then we get a CT scan to make sure that your joint has arthritis. Then we'll talk about is there therapy? Are you weak if you're full strength? Probably not. Then we look at um, other things like inject more injections, but they don't last and there's a certain amount you can take because they put steroids in there as well, or a fusion, and those are the options. So this is sort of one half of a pelvis and here's where your hip would be. So the SI joint is this joint back here. So how the surgery works is it's an overnight stay. It takes about an hour, hour and a half to do. What we do in the surgery is the patient is asleep they're on a table that's flat, that's cushioned, but we can take x-rays through the table. So what we're trying to do is first go from the side, so it's just above the hip joint, and we're trying to put pins in, sort of right where these guys, these are the SI implants. So once the pins are in the right spot, then we put these triangle, triangular dowels in that bridge from the side all the way to the front, and there's three of them. Remember that. SI joint, it, it flexes forward and flexes back. So what it's doing is it's preventing that rotation. Then the bone heals into the implant. So you can see that there's a pattern in here. This is laser etched, so bone can go through it when you put it in. And eventually this will incorporate into the implant. So that implant now is bridging. Th this is the joint here, it's bridging this and this together. The data that they've shown is that at about a year, your 80% of your pain should be gone. There's always a residual 20%, but it's manageable. Injections help. They can get you down to 80% less pain, but they don't last. They come right back up in about four to six weeks. Um, there's something called ablation, which is you can deaden the nerves, but they grow back at three to six months. So that doesn't last. Uh, SI fusions, when they've studied it over five years, um, and a, a very good study, the pain level is flat. So, and there's about a residual 15, 20% pain, but 85% is eliminated permanently. 